All right, here we are. Um, had a lot of requests for more 6L80 videos. Um, you know, hell, I'm in this with you, if you got, uh, guys, fellas, ladies. Um, you know, we're all learning together. Um, I just have a, a, a way about communicating this stuff and, and the desire to do it and, and uh, some would say a, a gift for teaching. Uh, so this 2015 model, and I think this is irrelevant to the video, but I do want to give you the background. 2015 Silverado 6L90, I think, 6L80. Uh, honestly, I hadn't gone out and looked. Um, anyway, delayed reverse, delayed forward. Um, I've air checked everything as best I could with it in the, the truck. Um, we tore down the valve body. We found absolutely nothing. Um, studied some schematics. Uh, I could not understand how the Tecum could be causing this because it's two different solenoids. They uh, drive in reverse really don't have much in common. Uh, a leak in the low and reverse clutch is kind of out of the question because that clutch is on as soon as you start the truck and park. So it's not like we're waiting for it to come on. Um, so I'm looking, 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 looking for, you know, the cause of this. And I think I have found it. But regardless whether it's the cause of our delayed reverse and our delayed drive, this is a problem. And I've been guilty of this. Uh, we, need to, we need to change the way that we look at these switch films. They're not just inoperative switches their leaks and when i get through showing you this we'll go look at the hydraulic schematic so um the switch films are identified thankfully in this uh, handout that came in the overhaul kit and so using this you'll know which which switch is which when you go to the hydraulic circuits so um switch five is this one down on the end and here again this is what you want your low pressure air for hear it okay so i'm going to take my little vacuum tester plate i made stick it over the seal you don't hear anything do you let off the trigger we heard the air come out so that that one's tight switch five's tight the rest of them, they leak like hell. Hear it? Leaking. 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 Now the significance of this is you can see the switch valve or the switch film is torn. It's, it's easy to see. So the torn switch film is responsible for the leak because the rubber can't form a seal against it. So now I want to go to the hydraulic schematic and show you why I think this matters more than we ever thought. Hang on. All right, here we are at the schematics. So you can get these schematics um, where I got them and I've had people ask me that too is uh, I signed up for a, I got a one day subscription to the GM uh, repair site where you go and uh, you know download repair information or get uh, a subscription to program a computer if you have that stuff I don't but the, uh, the GM tech site, I bought a one day subscription and I was able to download all these books for 20 bucks. The beautiful thing. Uh, if that's no longer available, uh, shoot me an email, dick.wardell at gmail.com and I'll try to hook you up. So, 
<clears throat> the Switch films. We've got Switch 5, Switch 3, Switch 1, and Switch 4, just as they're laid out on the actual thing there. And so we're in drive first gear, and we've got all of these applied. And here's the real kicker. This is the one that really got me. See how this one's yellow? That's actuator feed oil. I mean, the significance of that. And no, it's not orifice. So if the switch is leaking, it is leaking actuator feed oil in an unlimited fashion. So we'll follow it. It's PS1. We follow it all the way up where it, where it originated from. Right there. And I know you can't see it, or maybe you can. Um, the 3.5R reverse clutch regulator valve. Pressure switch one originated as actuator feed limit. That's huge in my mind. So whether this fixes my delayed engagements or not, we have all learned something uh, in our diagnostic approach to this unit. We need to consider these switch films uh, in our diagnostic as, as leaks, not just as inoperative switches. So here's your 6L80 video. I hope it helps. Uh, God bless. Like, subscribe, and share. Thanks. Bye.